Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Young, Gander RV and Outdoors, walking into one of my favorite lines of fifth wheel toy haulers, the Keystone Fusion. This is the 427. This is what I call the big boy. And I walked in through the solid glass tinted door from the living area, which you'll see here in a minute, into this garage. I love the way they have the layouts here. I got the rubberized floor with the adjust to track system. This is a 13 foot garage, giving you plenty of space for whatever toys you need to take with you. As you can see, we left the carpet rolled up. That set of stairs right there are the Morai True Steps. That is actually an entry point to the party deck, which the eight foot garage door also becomes. And Bob, I don't know if you can see it. Those are screen sliding doors that open and give you access to the outside. So you can have entertaining here, you can have entertaining there. Plus there's a suspension guard around the exterior to make sure nobody gets hurt. But right in here, I got two beds. I got the opposing sofas that fold down into a bed and then I got the queen bed. Both of these are on this motorized chain drive. So when you're storing your equipment, they obviously go up to the top, but when you're down, do some sleeping entertaining, they come down. Uh, rubberized floor. I got my washer dryer prep right here as well. Got some under loft bunk storage right here, which is pretty much the only space for the ladder, which I'll show you here in a minute. Shaker style cabinets with the brushed nickel fixtures all the way around this bad boy, giving me storage. High ceilings on this uh, full profile fifth wheel. And take a look at the Omni Chill AC. The Omni Chill AC, that's three quarters of a ton <laughs> of air conditioning power. That's all throughout this entire unit. That's going to help keep you cold no matter where you are. And right beside them, I got my Sony speakers that are dual zone. But probably my favorite part half bath. That's right. The garage has its own half bath with a porcelain bowl, foot flush, single sink, uh, single vanity sink with the mirrored medicine cabinet. And I got the bull nose over here to handle my towels, which I'm not a fan of. I like the hooks. I want hooks. But when you're talking about getting cleaned up after being on the track, playing golf, whatever toys you want to haul, that's going to be a great spot for it. But the thing about toy haulers they're not necessarily exclusively to haul toys. If you're a larger family and you want to entertain, you want to get out and about and you need space, you need comfort, and you want maybe the kids to have their own separate bedroom, that garage is a fantastic separate bedroom. The only thing I did not like about this setup was if you needed to access if you needed to access the loft bunk, which is up top, we'll have Bob go up here in just a second. The ladder has to stay here, which makes access in the garage a little bit tricky. That's the only thing. But check out where the kids are going to be fighting to sleep. Has its own AC up there as well. But that's a great little bunk room for kids or for really for adults because it's got space and it's a hideaway. You get up there, get curled up, you're out for the night. And the great thing about the Fusion too. Keystone built these so you could grab adventure by the bullhorns. This is for somebody that needs storage and space and comfort. You're going to get a lot in this 427. Take a look at the shelf space that I have here. I'm always talking about good grab and go spots. Yes, this is pantry technically, but that's a good spot for when you're ready to go. You got your hunting gear, your fishing gear, your bike gear, your golf gear, whatever. That's going to be a good spot for it. Also got some frosted glass inlays in the shaker style cabinets up here. Not a very deep storage space, but that's good for, I don't know, putting thin stuff. I got an adjustable, I got adjustable TV right here on the swivel, wood inlay here, including my Jensen Command Center, which also comes with that J control. It's an app that lets you control all the entertainment. Dual zone, I got HDMI. And when you pop the DVD in, uh, it's, it's kind of cool because it even cuts the TV and the sound system on. Got a built-in sound bar, three different settings on my LCD, Fireplace right there, which does a fantastic job of heating. And take a look at this residential style flooring. Easy to clean, slip resistant. We do have a central vac system inside this unit that reaches all the corners. And the heating system is on this racetrack style setup with the tough lock anchors in the middle, making sure there's not going to be any soft spots or breaks in it. Right here on the off camp side, I got my Thomas Paine luxury sofa, which also has these little uh, side swiveling panels that come out, but these have heat and massage built into them. So when you're done golfing, biking, doing whatever, 
manly stuff, womanly stuff, you could come in and get your massage, and then this kicks out into a sleeper, and that's gonna be a good night's sleep, especially with these giant bay windows. Leather-covered wood balances around as well, giving me great light, giving me great airflow. That's gonna be a good night's sleep. But when it's time to eat, everybody's done. Oh, Chris, this is cool looking, man. Got the beautiful Corian countertop here. But what is this? Dude, let me tell you what it is. You got the swivel seats that come out so if you want to hang out, turn around, hey, Bob, what's happening? Oh, look, there's a door. Oh, look, there's a TV. This was a great addition and a great design plan by Keystone. Plus, it's a good spot to reconnect with the loved ones. You get finished golfing, biking, running the track, whatever, fishing, hunting. You could come right here and talk about everything and look outside. I got a campsite window over there so I could see. You got the beautiful big bay window here and right above me tons of natural light from the skylight coming in reconnection point and when you're not sitting there good grab and go spot it's actually where i stored my backpack racing boots whatever walk past the 18 cubic foot fridge good grief this thing is huge got the four doors for the fridge freezer combo this runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch great feature because a lot of times with uh, residential style fridges or fridges this big you don't get that option usually it's just juice so having that option good to have come over to the kitchen area i got my dual wooden cutting boards covering up my single deep well farmhouse style stainless steel sink brush nickel high-rise faucet and sprayer handle plenty of prep space here on this seamless countertop that's corian dual usb charging ports if i need to plug in my cell phone or, or whatever Good spot there. And solid wood construction all the way around. This is the Eastwood decor. It's a little bit lighter than the sister of this, uh, known as the Brindle. Uh, you can't really tell them apart, at least I can't. One's a little bit lighter, but they both have these same beautiful grayish blue cabinets that look residential and are just gorgeous. Solid wood construction on these drawers, full extension on the ball bearing drives. You're gonna have plenty of counter space, plenty of storage space. You're not gonna run out. I would take these out and put them in my house, especially since they're recessed and they have that LED light up top. More prep space over here. More storage space as well. That's obviously a good spot for pots, pans, dishes, cups, or for me, Backpacks, water bags, cabos, throw it in there. Always get yelled at. And I like to step down too. This seems kind of nice, the way that this, I don't know, I saw that at first I was like, eh. But then it's like, oh, you know what? I kind of like this. Recessed three burner cooktop with the grill grate. LED accent light there. 21 inch Furious oven. And not to be outdone, how about a pot and pan storage right underneath? Nice touch, Keystone. Walk up here, I got my bottle opener there. There is the central vac system. And this unit also has the third generation in command system, uh, which you can control the lights, the awnings, the ACs, everything from your cell phone. Plus it has global connect on it. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush in the master bedroom. Good countertop space here, plus a deep well single vanity sink. I got the residential style faucet and fixture there. I like the cubby here. That's a good spot for towels. Right there, underneath as well. And a dual mirrored medicine cabinet here. Large vent and fan as well. Yeah, sorry, I left the light off because, well, here, let me show you. Look at this skylight. Look at how much light I'm having to squint coming in from the skylight up here. It's big. It does give me additional headroom, which I probably need, seeing as how we're now in the uh, front cap of this fifth wheel, but plenty of space. I got the seat, the bench seat there, corner notches here, single surround shower uh, with the brush nickel fixtures going all the way around and the solid glass door. It is a pass through to the, to the uh, master bedroom, but I can't stop without showing you the laundry chute. Got my laundry basket. Now, how often would I change that out? <laughs> Don't ask my wife. All right, so Bob's gonna go through the solid door into the master bedroom. I just walked through the pass-through because there is a pocket door here for that. My wardrobe is mirrored and on its own slide. 
and that's great storage space. You got room for days in there. Plus we got the deep well pull out drawers there. Once again, full extension on those ball bearings. King size bed, which a lot of the fusions come with the queen, but you do have the Fury and king size upgrade option if you want it. And I got strut supported storage underneath the bed and take a look at that space there. So as I mentioned before, you don't have to haul toys. So if you're using this for hunting or fishing, that's a great spot to store your fishing rods, your, your rifles and the hard cases. Uh, or if you are hauling toys, golf bags, bike gear, boots, suits, helmets, great spot to keep it out of the way. King size bed that is walk around. I got nightstands on both sides with cubby holes and strut supported storage up top, as well as the frosted glass inlays on the ends, giving me more room. And once again, that Omni chill air conditioner right there on top, just fantastic insulation. Uh, great air conditioning, great everything. I mean, this is this is that toy hauler for if you're looking to possibly live in it for a while, it's an option for you. Even got my wall mounted TV right there with power plug and key TV multi-source connection uh, right there on the back. I'll tell you more about the key TV once we go outside. Residential, full of features, full of storage, and just great for a family, whether you're active or not. If you need the space and style, this 2020 Keystone Fusion 427, it's a great option for you to check out. So we've seen how beautiful the inside is and all the wonderful plethora of things that we have here. Let's take a gander on the outside, see what we got there. Okay guys, so here we are on the outside, the 2020 Keystone Fusion 427 fifth wheel toy hauler. Just take a look at how beautiful this end cap is right here. Molded fiberglass has that radiant foil barrier on the inside, helping to keep the climate where you want it. Got my LED running lights here. It just looks rough and rugged. Like when you get in this thing, you gonna do some stuff. All right, we got the Rotaflex fifth wheel hitch right here. Fifth wheels are a little bit easier to tow because they distribute weight evenly because this hitches up in the bed of your truck. Underneath, I got my Onan 5500 watt Cummins generator. That's gonna help keep things going nicely. Twin 30 pound LP tanks over here. Come around to the campsite, watch your head. Got my battery compartment right here, plus my hookups. Large awnings, I actually have two awnings on this unit and the sealed safety, uh, safety tinted glass all the way around this unit as well. Uh, right here in the pass through storage, I got my in-command system here. In-command is a thing that Keystone built. It's a multi-source connection, so you're not chasing cables. Satellite, TV, all of it's gonna be right there and it's color-coded and easy to find. This is the hose for my central vac system, which actually fits in right there. I got a little drop storage here. Pass-through storage that's lit and finished off. Heated and enclosed underbelly on this. And this one has a six point hydraulic automatic leveling system. I'll show you those here in just a minute. So let's say I wanna do some outside entertaining. Got my power port right here. Plug in my boom box. Got my outside TV and mini fridge plus storage right here. If I wanted to just kind of hang out, maybe hook up the grill to the LP Quick Connect, and do some grilling. I got my Sony exterior speakers now these are dual zone we saw these in the garage as well you got that jensen command system the sony exterior speakers fantastic combo solid moride steps extended grab handle going in which also acts as a door guard led lights underneath my awning this is a triple axle fifth wheel on these 16 inch aluminum wheels you got the cre 3000 suspension and you got those dexter easy lube axles in there as well plus they got 12 by 2 automatic brake pads on each one of these bad boys so suspension and safety that's a great option to have there walking back to the garage this is something that's exclusive on the uh, fusions there's a fusion accessory kit that comes with this so this opens up you can hide your accessories in there or just use it as additional storage it's just a solid shelf as well got my fold-up ladders leading into the garage vent port here zero gravity ramp door here with my legs that's how you would get the uh, party deck on the back plus i got my led lights and a scissor arm awning awning on the back led light from a hitch too ladder that helps me get on top of the roof when i'm ready to do some rmp fuel dispense dis dispensing system is right here we got dual 30 gallon tanks 
on of his fifth wheel. And here's your dispension. Your dis <laughs> here's where you pump the gas. And unleaded fuel only. Obviously, you can see there. I got another one of our leveling jacks right there. True fit slides, which is another keystone calling card. It minimizes the use of components. Less stuff you use, less stuff that could break. Plus, they're sealed with all of that great insulation like we have on the inside. Pretty much zero to 100 rating on the temperature there with this insulation. Got my gray tank. The access point is actually underneath the slide, so it's kind of hard to see while the slide is out, but hopefully you can see it there. Great features to have. Okay, so here's my spray nozzle on my exterior cold and hot shower controls. Got my 50 amp plug right here beside the uh, Fusion Command Center. Look at how they set this up. Valve position by color, helping you understand and how to operate this. How do we do it? What's the best way to control this? Keystone does a great job making it easy to own. Here's my tank controls for my gray and my black tank. I got my city water winterization. As you can see, it's easy to use, plus another external multi-source controller right there for Keystone TV and the other side of our semi pass-through storage. Now there's your hydraulic command center for those leveling jacks. Yeah, daddy. We'll get the power when we set this thing up. Your command for the auto leveling is right here behind this uh, controller too. You just pull up, punch in, and it'll automatically set up for you. But the most important part of any travel trailer that you buy is going to be the info panel. This unloaded vehicle weight, 15,600 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 19,000 pounds. You're going to need a heavy-duty truck to pull this fifth wheel. But that's where you ask your specialist at Gander RV and Outdoors, what does that mean? Here's what my truck can tow. Is this the right one for me? But if you're that family or if you're that professional racer or you just want a toy hauler with all the creature comforts of home, great option right here. The 2020 Keystone Fusion 427. It's big, it's a honker, but it's got a lot of stuff in it. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about this fifth wheel. What did you not like about this fifth wheel? because I love hearing from you. And please like and subscribe. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, come check out a camper. They are fun. I'll see you soon.